everyone, my name is Sari. Today's episode of Sari Knits is going to be a bit different than the previous ones as today I'm going to be sharing a, something very special with you. I have designed a new show pattern in collaboration with Tukuvul for their new yarn base called Tukuvul Harmas and in this episode I'm going to be talking about the design, um, its construction, uh, how the collaboration started, uh, about the yarn and a little bit of the inspiration behind the, my design. Um, but let's start by me showing you the new shawl pattern. It's called a Lila and it's a triangular scarf doesn't fit in this hole if I go very very much back, backwards maybe you can see the whole whole shawl so it has this cable and lace pattern here at one side of the shawl and then there's this meditative garter st stitch section at the other side and I have attached tassels to each corner of this shawl, so there are three tassels. I like adding tassels to my shawls. I think they make uh, the design look a bit more finished and they give the impression of a bit, bit more length without um, it making it feel bulky or heavy, so it's very airy and the tassels give the shawl a nice movement and the show is started from here from one this corner and it's knitted upwards so we are starting with this cable and lace pattern and increasing here on the other side uh, so after we have um, knitted five columns of this, this uh, cable and lace pattern then the increases will continue here on the sides but the side will be knitted with just a plain garter stitch so it will be a bit calmer I think um, for me my design philosophy is to design clothes that clothes and garments that you can use every day uh, that work from from um, your work day to your if you're going for a coffee date with your friend or even even in the evenings or outside you can add this for a summer party in the evenings um, to throw over your shoulders or over your coat when it's uh, cold in the winter. So I want to keep my designs uh, somewhat minimalistic, but they need to have some kind of um, um, detail that makes them interesting. And for this design, it's the original stitch pattern that I created for this show. So it's this cable and lace pattern and the inspiration for this um, this pattern came from uh, high fashion actually from um, a Donna Karan fashion show I saw this sweater design from a Donna Karan fashion show and it had this similar type of um, cable and lace pattern but of course I didn't want to copy it like one to one, so I decided to create my own version of that same same idea. So this is what I came up with, and even though it looks a bit complicated, it is very suitable even for beginner knitters or be advanced beginners. Um, the cabling is really simple, as is also the lace. Uh, but together they make this really interesting texture uh, it's quite original I think and also as there's large areas of garter stitch these are like you can just knit 
them you don't have to think about anything but this uh, cable pattern keeps the design interesting in my opinion and at the end of the design there's this little bit of ribbing to finish the edge so here we go and it's large enough to wrap around your shoulders so it is really nice and warm in the winter and the name Laila is an old Finnish name um, from northern Finland actually from the Sami people it is called or it means holy and it's also an Arabic name which means the night and that's also one thing I was thinking about when I was designing this show like I mentioned that you can wrap it around you when the night gets colder even during the summer if you have a summer party and you have just a lightweight summer top then this show is perfect for you to continue your night um, I know many people knit shawls for their grandmas and uh, sadly my grandma passed away 15 years ago but this is something I would have wanted to knit for my grandma and the name Lila is also not to my grandma actually my grandma's name was Leila but it's from the same name family so that's why this uh, design is extra special for me um, let's talk about the yarn a bit this is super soft even though it looks a bit rustic it is absolutely absolutely gorgeously soft it doesn't I have a very sensitive skin but this doesn't tickle me at all so the yarn I used for this design is this new yarn base from Tukuvul it's called Tukuvul Harmas and it is 100% um, Kaino Grey wool and uh, Kaino Grey is a heritage breed of sheep from northern Finland and it was thought to be extinct in the early 1980s but there has been a lot of work done to revive the breed and as of 2015 the breed is no longer endangered um, usually when we are talking about endangered sheep species um, you say that if there are less than 1000 ewes of that uh, specific breed the, the breed is endangered but in 2015 it was counted that there are 1136 kind of grey use in Finland so it's no longer extinct but that doesn't mean the work has ended there's still a lot of work to do to keep the, the breed vital um, I did a little bit of studying about the kind of grey sheep and I read that they are a very affectionate breed they are um, very friendly very curious very uh, lively by nature and they come in different colors but Usually all the sheep have um, black legs and blackish face. They, it might be a bit spotted, but they have black faces and, and ears. But the um, main wool fur, what do you call it, uh, it comes in different colors. There are uh, white ones, white kind of grays. Um, different shades of grays, black and even some brown sheep the most common color is um, light gray and um, at the moment Tukuvul Harmas uh, Harmas actually uh, it's the, the breed is called Kainu Harmas in Finnish Harmas or uh, Harma means gray in Finnish so this is the only color available at the moment it's this undyed natural fleece color kind of um, a bit brownish beige, beige gray really beautiful color and I don't know if Tukuvul is 
thinking about making um, different colors of this in the future. I read that this is very good for dyeing as well, but at the moment, like I said, this is the only color available. And the batch of yarn that Tukubul has is very limited, so it's only sold as kits as, at the moment. So there will be six skeins of Tukubul Harmas along with my shawl pattern. And that's the amount of yarn you need to finish your own Lila shawl. Um, this is slightly thicker than uh, Tukuvul fingering. It has 150 meters per 50 grams, which means that it is um, lightweight, DK or sport weight. And I have here some uh, Tukuvul fingering. So I can show you. This is uh, Tukuvul Harmas and this is Tukuvul fingering. This is the Raku colorway. So I will show you the, the difference of these yarns you can see here. So the Tukuvul fingering is slightly more lightweight than Tukuvul Harmas. This is also a bit more um, openly plied, so it's a bit more springy than uh, Tukuvul fingering and a bit more fluffy. Kaino gray wool it is, it's really soft, it's very suitable for crafting. Um, like I mentioned, it's really soft against the skin. It, I think it would even work really nicely for baby knits. I actually, I'm thinking about all the knits, all the, all the wool and sweaters of my childhood that were really like scratchy and and um, ticklish. Um, this is nothing like that wool and like I mentioned it could work for baby knits as well in my opinion. Uh, so it's really soft, it has a beautiful sheen, luster and it is ranked as fine wool or, or at the fine, finer end of medium fine wool. So um, I mentioned on Instagram already and I've said it in person a couple of times to different people but if I didn't know what this is and somebody just gave me this skein in my hand and asked me what is this I would say it's a cashmere blend so it's that soft um, I can't recommend it more and I think the work to Kuvul does with um, the domestic heritage bridge such as um, fin sheep for Tukuvul fingering and now Kaino Grey, even a more um, minor uh, sheep breed compared to, to fin sheep. Uh, this is a very, very important work they are doing, bringing awareness about different native sheep breeds we have here in Finland. Um, like I mentioned, this come as a kit. You can buy the kit uh, from Lanka Kauppa Titityty. I will add all the links below here. And the yarn comes with the pattern for my Lila shawl. And the Lila shawl will be individually available via Ravelry after a couple of months. Or if the kits sell out really fast, then maybe I can add the pattern on Ravelry individually. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this little video and you like my Lila shawl. Uh, like I mentioned, the design is very special to me. And I can't wait to see your versions of this pattern. That's everything I have for today. And until next time, see you!